Xiaoqi is getting second thoughts about Likey Me. Do we, do we trust the companies too much? I mean, are we stupid with our information? Is that what you're saying, or? I think we're just careless, you know? And if they don't, if we don't care about that, then why would they care for us? But how else would we connect with each other, yeah. I mean? You cannot avoid sharing data with anyone, so you have to. Well, then the next step is that these organizations have to be careful, have to be responsible in how they deal your personal data. The most positive ones are the companies who are saying, well, we are taking our responsibilities, we protect privacy because we see the interest. They start developing innovative services in a privacy-friendly manner. And sometimes it's even privacy as a niche. So they develop new products which are exactly protecting privacy and the protection is a product as such. Well, if all this doesn't work, or just as guidance as well, there's new regulations coming from Europe. It's a general data protection regulation, giving rules and standards about how to protect personal data of customers and citizens. And I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about it, sort of like, what if someone's going through my data right now, like, and does something with it? I don't. Like, yeah, someone sitting there on their laptop, like, you know, going through your Facebook yeah, maybe pictures. Yeah, guy over there. The characteristics of a cyber criminal uh, can be very different from the characteristics of traditional criminals. Um, for instance, you need to have quite a lot of knowledge and skills to commit cyber crimes, especially for the more technical crimes. So uh, what we see is that they need to be intelligent and also to have patience and to think about the uh, steps they are taking in their crime. It's, I have a feeling someone's watching me right now. Oh yeah, get paranoid like me. <laughs> no, that's not that paranoid. I will never be that paranoid as you are. Well, one of the things we can do to make ourselves less vulnerable is keep our computers and our software up to date. <laughs> uh, we should install patches as soon as they come out. We should make sure that uh, we're running the newest versions of operating systems. Uh, it's also uh, better uh, for your mobile platforms uh, generally to not uh, try and uh, root your phone or otherwise jailbreak it, because <laughs> that also makes uh, life easier for, uh, for hackers. Be careful about what websites we're visiting. Be careful what URLs we click on. Also in email, be careful about clicking on links. <laughs> This is fairly well known, but still, we have to be careful about, about it. Also, another thing is that uh, just because this data, you know, is local on your machine and you haven't uploaded it to a, an external website also doesn't mean <laughs> that it's secure either because your machine can always get a malware infection <laughs> and that could anyway compromise that same data whether uh, you've uploaded it online or not. Right now? Have you ever thought about these things, Xiaoqi? I really need a glass of wine. Oh, yeah. What about you? Yeah? yeah?